Hi, I'm Neil, one of the Open Table trustees, and I'm really happy to be able to share some thoughts with you this Christmas. Central to the Advent message is love, a celebration of the infinite, unconditional, intimate love of God made visible at the birth of Jesus. And it's not just the fact of God's love freely given to us in Christ that we remember at Christmas, but there are chance that we ourselves are given to respond to God in love. The nativity narratives of Matthew and Luke picture who the love of God was first revealed to, as well as who seemed to miss it completely. For just as can be the case today, the religious gatekeepers of the time wanted to set boundaries and put limits on just who was eligible to experience God's love. But God was having none of that, and to help us grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, God singled out two specific groups of people, both rejected by the religious authorities, as the first to witness Jesus' birth. Local shepherds and foreign sorcerers. Shepherds, with generations of nativity plays featuring kids with tea towels on their heads behind us, we perhaps can't imagine the place of shepherds in first century Palestine. Widely suspected of being criminals, not only because they stayed out at night when most illicit or sordid activity took place, but also because they often let their sheep graze on other people's land. Self-respecting Jews had little time for them. Yet they were the first to be invited to meet the Messiah with a whole angelic choir concert laid on just for them. Their fear changed to amazement, then overflowed into joyful worship and witness as they experienced the truth of what they had been told. And then there were the Magi, not kings, but Persian or Babylonian astrologers and sorcerers, pagan Gentiles. There was definitely no place at the table of faith for them. The new king they sought was not to be found in a palace, which was already occupied by one who ruled by violence and greed. No, God's love was given flesh in a simple peasant home, accessible to all. It was here that the Magi met love incarnate, then bowed in worship and left gifts that spoke prophetically about Jesus' identity and future. As we celebrate Christmas, each and every single one of us is invited to the table to drink deeply of the love of God brought to us in Christ and to respond in worship. And those that have most often been excluded are definitely more than welcome. As trustees of the Open Table Network, we are grateful for your continued support and deeply appreciate the partnership we have together as in our communities we create safe, sacred spaces for all to experience and pass on the love of God that is proclaimed through Advent. Have a great Christmas.